the trains pass by here in Japan, uh, makes me remember why, why I love this place so much. I don't know, it feels like home. People always ask me, well, why'd you leave Japan then? Why, if it feels like home, why did you leave? Why did you go to AEW? And one thing I've learned in the business of professional wrestling and how life in general is that um, if you don't take a chance, you have no chance. And I had to take a chance. And things haven't gone exactly the way I want them to in AEW. Hell, the business of professional wrestling hasn't always been the kindest to me. But after 22 years, I have to say that I'm pretty damn proud of what I've done what I've accomplished, where I've been, the people that I've had the chance to step in the ring with, the people that I've met over the years, the relationships that I've made with friends and family, people that have become family, whether it's here in Japan, whether it's in the United States. This G1 Climax Tournament was, uh, was good for everyone. It was good for AEW, it was good for New Japan, and I think most importantly, it was good for me. I needed this, I needed to come here, I needed to show the world, I needed to prove to myself that I could still do this at the highest level with the top quality talent that is in New Japan Pro Wrestling. The G1 Climax is a tournament that is, uh, is unprecedented, it's unlike any other tournament that's in the business of professional wrestling and you have to step your game up every single time you step in the ring. A little over five weeks here in Japan. I still have a week to go. 20 shows total, six tournament matches, and that's if you don't make the, uh, the semis and the finals, which I absolutely plan on doing. I've been a part of a lot of tough tournaments and a lot of tough G1s in the past. This one's been the most fun. It's been tough as hell, but it's been the most fun. I don't know what's going to happen on the 16th, but I know I'm going to go step in the ring with Okada, arguably one of the best in the world who's accomplished as much or more than just about anybody in New Japan Pro Wrestling or the business of professional wrestling. I faced him a lot of times. I fought him. I've never won. This has to be different. This has to change my career and my chances and if I don't I don't know what happens <laughs> but I know I'm going to come back to AEW and I'm going to come back stronger hungrier I'm ready to kick some ass I always am you can question what's going to happen and who's going to do what with me when how and where but I know that I'm never gonna stop, that I'm always gonna push forward, and that you're always going to pay attention to me. So sooner or later, one way or another, I will arrive. And it's better late than never. I'll talk to you soon.